I had an eerie feeling one day, standing next to Harry's sink. He was about to wash the dishes, fill the teapot, the kettle, make some coffee. Up some... Harry said, come away from there. Come away from there. You're making too much noise already. God damn it. Why? They're going to wake him up. Who's that, Harry? There's a tribe of little pink men under the sink in the cabinet. Don't you understand anything? No sooner had I taken my seat next to Smith, I noticed the cabinet door opening. One little pink man emerged, a scout, armed with a tiny electric guitar. He came out and looked about and signaled for the rest of them. Approximately six platoons of them, drilling. Well, this is approximately 200 guys. He's hallucinating. He's describing this shit. So was he on any drug or was he just uh... That's what I'm talking about. I'll get to that. <clears throat> there was light to moderate anxiety to a sigh of relief when they all did an about face and marched back into the cabinet under the sink and closed the door. Smith looks at me and says, well, that wasn't so bad. This was a side effect from some extremely potent medication he was doing for cancer, possibly. You know, when you see pink elephants, blah, blah. That's almost the whole thing verbatim. This was an ongoing fixation the whole time I knew Smith. And I thought, yes, the mind does go to strange places during severe illness. How's that? The writing's actually better. Hi. I've just had all of my thoughts smuggled to Canada in three fucking I gotta fix this. Eighteen wheelers. Ginsburg would joke about smuggling his thoughts out of the country so his meditation teacher wouldn't know that he was thinking. Joke. Ha ha. That's called thinking. I'm eating, goddammit. You'd say, oh yeah, come over. And, and I'd show up and he'd go, I'm eating. Do you understand anything? I'm eating. There's a huge salad in front of him. About a two gallon bowl of salad. The last time I saw him. Uh, uh, could I just use your phone, Alan? I'm, uh, I'm just trying to get some reefer. Oh, oh, okay. And then, uh, so I didn't score in the first call, so he kicked me out. Harry was wondering why you don't want to spend more time with him. And I thought the priority was Smith because he was actually dying in front of my eyes. Be it known, Alan had plenty of boyfriends. Unless he didn't. Peter Orlovsky was pretty skitzed. <laughs> Stella Zine's designed to do that. It seems to be soothing at first. And then each successive dose increases the sensation of mooring and increase in the anxiety.
So then you think you're going to take away that anxiety, you take two or three more tabs, then you can't even sit down on your own furniture. <laughs> I like the rainbow thing. Print me one of those. Things. Print. Uh, I like your screensaver very much. It's like the coolest one. It, it, and you're doing far better than I am because I'm just a fucking Neanderthal barbarian savage who has never owned a car in his life. Now you're going to manipulate this further, snip something out there. Well, I don't know. I think I'd... I. Th you should like leave that one alone, man. <coughs> Die in this godforsaken fucking high desert. <laughs>